Welcome back. Special Olympics Michigan getting a big financial boost from the new state budget passed last week. Yeah, in total, the organization is receiving $5 million. 13 on your side's Trevier Gonzalez joins us live from the newsroom to tell us more. Trevier, this funding is helping them with what will be the largest Special Olympic facility in the world. Yeah, that's right. This investment is directly tied to key infrastructure projects for the Unified Sports and Inclusion Center that's on track to open up next summer. Now, as we approach that completion date, those key projects are said to be part of the facility's final phase. We're talking infrastructure, electrical and HVAC work. One specific space that's now on track to be completely revitalized is the center's auditorium. Part of that $5 million will help turn that area into a fully accessible community theater. The CEO of Special Olympics Michigan tells us getting this funding was a critical step. This really helps put everything to completion. Without this funding, you know, it would have probably been delayed a couple more years. Um, this gets us to the finish line, you know, using our, our um, Special Olympics, you know, and track um, analogy. You know, we started off in kind of the marathon and now we're on the home stretch and we can't wait to, to have everything completed. The investment is also said to help with programs tied to workforce development, building leadership skills and health initiatives that will benefit athletes and their families. Now with that accessible community theater, now something that's also in the works, those with Special Olympics Michigan believe that alone has the potential to be a huge economic driver for West Michigan. In the newsroom, Trevor Gonzalez, 13 on your side.